In this video, we're going to talk about how to name acid and hydrides and nitriles as well. So let's start with a basic example. What is the name of this acid and hydride? So this particular anhydride is symmetrical. We have two carbons on both sides. Now whenever you have a two carbon chain, you need to think of the word ethane. But in this case, when dealing with anhydrides, take off the E and add oic. So this is called ethanoic anhydride. The common name for this molecule is acetic anhydride. Acetic is also, it's always associated with two carbons. Now let's move on to our next example. Based on the last example, go ahead and name this acid anhydride. So we have another symmetrical anhydride. And there's three carbons on each side. So three carbons is associated with the word propane, but we're going to take off the E and replace it with oic. So this is called propanoic anhydride. Now let's work on some examples where we have an unsymmetrical anhydride. So let's start with this example. How can we name it? So on the left side, there's two carbons. So that's going to be associated with the word ethanoic. And then on the right side, there's a total of three carbons, which will be associated with propanoic. And it's already in alphabetical order, so we could say it's ethanoic, propanoic, and hydride. Let's try one more example like that. Try this one. So on the left side, we have two carbons. That's going to be ethanoic. And on the right side, we have only one carbon. So think of methane, but it's going to be methanoic. And then anhydride. And it's already in alphabetical order. So that's how you can name unsymmetrical anhydrides. Now let's talk about how we can name nitriles. Let's start with this example. What is the name of that nitrile? So this is carbon 1. This is carbon 2. So this is called ethane nitrile. Now what about this one? Feel free to pause the video and name that nitrile. So this is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 carbons is associated with the word butane. And so this is going to be called butane nitrile. Let's work on this example. So let's put a methyl group on this carbon. How can we name that molecule? So this is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So a 7 carbon chain will be heptane. And we have the nitrile functional group. So this is heptane nitrile. And then there's a methyl group on carbon 4. So it's 4 dash methyl heptane nitrile. Now let's work on this example. So let's say if we have a bromine atom and a methyl group. Go ahead and name this molecule. So we have a total of eight carbons. So this is going to be called octane nitrile. On carbon three, we have a bromine atom. And on carbon four, we have a methyl group. So B comes before M. Therefore, this is going to be 3-bromo-4-methyl dash dash octane nitrile. And so that's it for that example.
Now, what if we have a benzene ring and a nitrile functional group? What's the name of this molecule? This is simply called benzo nitrile. It's also called benzene carbonitrile. So those are the ways you can name this molecule.